Kabisi Oba Yakini Adini Ilegushi, Kushenla II, the 20th Ilegushi of Ekate Land. Today, his story is not told by clever speeches, but in the words of the men and women who honor his memory. They share with us how he touched their lives, inspired them with his words and actions. They share with us the legacy that he left behind, a legacy that all can see. Kabesi Yakine Legushi was a wonderful man. I was admitted into class one, uh, Western College of Commerce, Araro Miyaba in the year 1965. I never knew he was also in the school until 1966 when we were in class two. In 1966, I met then Prince Yakini Iligushi. He just walked on to me on that day and said, uh, hello, where are you really from? I learned you are from Lagos State. I looked at him, I said, eh, what about it? Uh, he said, it's just your in intonation, the way you speak your Yoruba is like the Egbele type of... I said, Egbele, how come you understand Egbele? He said, I'm from Egbele, I'm from uh, Ikate. I said, which Ikate? Is it Ikate at, at Mushi? He said, no, Ikate, Legushi. Ah. I said, I'm from Baduri. I said, Who, whose son are you in Baduri? I said, I am the son of the chief imam. Then he, we embraced. I said, but you've been in this school? I said, yes, I'm, I've been there. More or less, he knows my childhood. And very close to my late mother. But, you know, growing up, we don't pay attention to things. It's a very huge uh, family. So that's how those of us from Etiasa area who were attending Western College of Commerce met, and we were holding constant meetings. But we were just about, uh, I think, four or five of us there. We started moving together as so far back as 1965. Uh, I was just out of school, and he was in his final year of school. And uh, the closeness was more interactive when we floated Associated Societies of Ethiopia Development Council, which we called ASEDIC. One thing that was clear about him was his passion and love for Ethiopia. It wasn't easy as far as I'm concerned, you know, when you have, as an individual, people look at individuals from different angles. But you are not likely to offend the late Yakini Legushi if as long as you were doing something positive for Ethiopia. We were just about 15 or 20. We were the driving force in the development of Ethiopia at the very inception. At the time when there was no motorable road linking Lagos to Ethiopia. As a matter of fact, we were responsible for the construction of the first road that linked Ethiopia with Lagos through Morocco. It wasn't third road. It was ordinary, you know, but we did it. And uh, a particular achievement which we were able to make was the construction of the bridge at Ikota. You won't believe it that the present Ojumu of Ajero, the late Obayakini Legushi, Honorable Yadosumu, Francia Adumbaku, my humble self, Late, uh, uh, late um, uh, Eshiro Gunjo and a host of others, we actually constructed that bridge, carrying sands, gravels, and whatever on our heads. We, because we didn't even have the resources to hire so many laborers there. That is the truth. But we made it. He's a very, very talented businessman in the first place. 
he loves his community. The Legushi family is also one of the uh, children of the Olofi. So he's one of the original children of the Olofi that uh, came from various uh, white cap chieftaincy um, ruling houses. Kushela II positioned Etiosa for development and to contribute greatly to Lagos as a whole. This was his vision. In the past, we have a dead asset on that corridor. Uh, it's, it's a dead asset. He collaborated with me to call the other of us after I became a governor. When we set the division of Osumba and Badway and the infrastructural development from VI to Ekwe. He was very, very focused. He was on the front, forefront. Approachable, um, uh, quite a big heart. Because, you know, uh, Ikate was just a vast uh, piece of land at the time that he became uh, over. And uh, so he had to do a whole lot to develop the place. I'm telling you, if you were not around at that time, you can never understand what I'm trying to say to you because the place is so highly developed. And that happened even before his demise. Look at it. Little I make by the Mary Law. Oh, no, so they never mind. Oh, no, Jackie, it's your side. Oh, 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 beyond others, is ready to give for infrastructure. Oops. Talking about electricity, electrification of the area, talking about road infrastructure of the area, is ready to collaborate with you, always ready to collaborate for that developmental goal. So you can imagine the importance and the value of, of pieces of land there. But he made sure that everyone that was close to him got a piece of the action. And not many people would do that. He likes doing things quick, quick, quick. And well, I would say, let us study the situation. We say, yes, we shall study the situation, but let us act first. If we are wrong, they will correct us. If we are right, we win. Quick assimilation of the vision. And uh, when we started, uh, some of us, uh, you know, ballets, us, uh, were looking at size, not exponential value, that infrastructural development will bring to their neighborhood. That is where is a different hobby. It just that now, it has now become the symbol of where everybody wants to, everybody wants to live because of the developments that comes up there. But who was Kushela II? The man in person. Elegushi said, extremely reliable. It's not a greedy man. It's not a selfish man. It doesn't break his word. It doesn't break agreements. I know that of him. He was an enigma. He was something special. He was a role model in loyalty, in hard work, and in, 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 uh, in passion for his people. I think he was a Fair and be, fair and a 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 fair
Oh, my very first uh, chief tenancy daichi as a Baba Goa was accorded to me by, you know, Oba Yakini, a legacy of blessed memory. When I became a commissioner in Lagos State, serving our beloved state, and all the nice words of encouragement that KBC Yakini Legushi was giving me went a long way with the 12 years that I served in that government. One thing about the late KBC Yakini Legushi, he doesn't mix his words. When he says A, you will never con convince him to say B. With Lagos State and government and tradition, Etiosa held his own. And why? Three wise men, but one of them, Kabisi Yakine Legushi, he does not mix his word. I'm not saying the other two does, but he will put his foot down that this is what we want in Etiosa. This is what we deserve and this is what we'll get. Before he became a white cap chief and a dejo, he was very particular about our upbringing, our education, the culture, the traditions of the Yoruba people. I've been with him since 1970. Yes. So, i So, in 1972. I've seen cases where people come cry. They needed money to trade with, to start businesses. It was there, giving it out. Not in small bits, chunky sum of money it gives out. When you come in crying, you go out with a joyful heart. That we have seen. For someone who had um, a favor had been done many years ago, not by me but by my dad, or something had been done, and I, I was rewarded for it, he just called me, it wasn't out of the blues, and said, send somebody, I have some paper for you, they should come and collect it. And when I saw it, I was surprised. Better tell you this. The only the military dictatorship, I went on exile for a good five years. Everything that we agreed to, without one single signature, no paper agreement, he piled them up, all the documents, and kept it for five years. When I returned, he said, take. These are yours, these are the documents, these are my promises I fulfilled. You can't imagine. Like all great men, his vision was tested. This led to a very dark time. It was a trying period. Bold Kushela II faced these false accusations head on and was remanded in prison. Politics with bitterness. For the offense not committed, he was charged. For the offense not committed, Yeah. 
years back, I couldn't remember the exact level. I just, I think around 1970, I think 1979 or 1980. So then uh, uh, we had issues on Morocco, on the demolition of Morocco. So that issue led to the arrest of Kabisi uh, then and some of the members of the family. So I can never forget that it is coming because we all just started crying. The one of us, the case of, they spent nine months with this Babatu in Kirikiri. For an who can be deposed easily under authoritarian rule to set with the military said this is our kingdom this is our community you can't dictate to us how we develop our people we have the right to development we have the right to everything here to affect the lives of everyone equally equitably and i want my land and he went to the extent of you now looking for documents, uh, 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 historical uh, documents. He, he traveled out of the country to bring some of those uh, heritage, uh, you know, uh, uh, photographs and samples and great uh, maps to prove his case. And he, he got what he wanted. Following his release, he did not keep malice. Rather, his passion for development became more driven. Three different things I live my life with, and I'll tell you today. And don't forget that I see, I said that I see KBC, Yakine Legushi, as an intelligent man. Now, the first thing, the first rule I live my life by is a weak man or a weak person will always seek revenge. A strong person will forgive. And the third thing, an intelligent man will just ignore and walk away. That's what I'm saying. I saw that man as a very intelligent man. When the judgment, they try to kill that they have no case to answer. So they are always tired and I keep them. So we all come back home, dancing, doing this. Over here, go from Luyani. Oh, bank on what you want to go no He returned to championing the cause of Etiosa and Lagos as a whole. One time I remember when they chased all the artists from the bar beach, we would run to him and he took all of us. Where I am today is also, is on his own power. He gave me this place to promote the art of Nigeria. He has always been a promoter of art, He's a promoter of our culture. He's also a promoter of the heritage. It was a reporter's delight when he was alive. Um, culture or covering of customs and ancestral cultural events was a no-go area for journalists at the time, but he made it so exciting. There comes a time when we must all answer the call of heaven and follow the path of those who came before us. When Kabiesi answered his call, everyone remembers where they were, what they were doing, and what happened to them when they heard the news. This, I miss my dad. I lost it. Some of the uh, students, which we don't even know, is paying their school fees. 
it was the day when the, the head of Gabi's died. A lot of them came to the palace, started crying. We don't know them. Even the people in Saudi Arabia, because they said, ah, ah, they just spoke with this man. and more examples of what this man did that you can't but celebrate him and you can never ever forget that man the celebration of the life of Kabiesi Obayakin Adini Elegushi on the 20th of May 2017 the Adimu Orisha play is held in his honor He deserved the honor. I do more a play that is being put together to honor the memory of KBC Elegushi. As far as I'm concerned, it's long overdue. An honor well deserved. He contributed so much to Lagos. This just don't happen. Good things happen to good people. And I am sure this has happened to, to him because he was a good man. No one more qualified. So it gladdened my heart to uh, see this day. Bye, Yakini Adini Elekushi. It was the first Elegush family to Mashi a Yadim to Jayo to Niag Baraju, Nino Gubuayo, Nikumbi. Kushela the second, his legacy and his qualities. Reliability, dependability. It's a hallmark of a great man, that Elegushi. You have his word, you have it for life. You agree on something with handshake, you don't have to you know, uh, be ceremonious on documentation or to try to look at a fear of a, a window. Mm -mm. Well, one of the things that I, I would like people to emulate with regard to the late Obayelegushi uh, is that when you say A, stay there, regardless of what they shake you to say B, don't ever defer from that. His lifetime, he doesn't hold something so tight. Kabiesi Oba Sahid Ademola Ilegushi, Kushela III has proven to be a worthy successor. He brings the best of the Ilegushi legacy to bear. And the vision of development that he carried with him uh, continued to, to flourish. 
uh, we are grateful that we have, uh, you know, a very able, competent uh, successor in his uh, son, you know, to whom I was a mentor, a guardian, and all of that. Uh, now that is the, the reward of hard work, honesty, and uh, good character. Obasaid, I think the spirit is in him, the way the father behaves. The spirit is in him. Our king, his royal majesty, King Saidi, Elegusi, the third. And he has always been following the father's step up till today. My father, Abba Yekine Adene Elegushi, of blessed memory. There are many things I can, I will always remember him for. He was my best friend. We shared the same birthday. Irrespective of anything, one thing I was able to take after him is you being honest and principled and straightforward in life. Ikate Legushi Kingdom is, is growing tremendously. I give praise to Almighty Allah. Oh, wonderful! Oh!